Mumbo Sauce Radio. Let's go! Soundtrack of the DMV. What's up, stars? It's your man Tony Tone back with another tutorial on the MPC 2500. Before I start, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss another video. Look, I know it's been a while since I've done the MPC 2500 tutorial, but I've been making beats in Logic Pro since. And uh, since I've been making beats in Logic, there's been times where I realized that the MPC still reigns king. All right, so like I said earlier, I made this beat in Logic in uh, Serato sample, as you can see right here. So yeah, so when I did the drum sequence, I couldn't quite get the swing right on the kick drum. And this is one of those things that the MPC is famous for. So basically what I did was uh, I created a folder on my desktop. I went into Logic. And uh, I soloed out the track that I needed. So this is solo right here. And then I right clicked on the sound in the track that I needed and uh, selected export as an audio file. So I located the folder that I created on my desktop and then I saved it in that folder. So some things to note here is uh, make sure that you're, you're saving it to a 16-bit WAV file. Um, I include the audio tail and I also include volume and pan automation. Also, uh, be advised that um, you only need like to right click on the two to eight bar selection of the track, not the whole arrangement. That's way too much. So this would be like the whole arrangement, this whole thing right here. But you don't need that. You only need this like, you know, two to eight bars or whatever, two to four to eight bars. You know, you could always chop up some of the sample off once you get it into the MP as need be, you know. Once I'm doing, doing this one by one each track, let me close that. I've already saved it, you know, in a folder. But uh, once I'm done doing this one by one for each track, I'm going to head over to the MPC and I'm going to connect my USB cable to the back of the MPC. And then I'm going to go to pad mode load and USB and I'm going to select USB mode then I'm going to head back over to my computer and wait for it to display on my PC on my hard drive on the desktop and once it's done doing that I'm going to drag the beat folder that I created on my desktop with my stems into it uh, into the NPC hard drive folder and eject the NPC hard drive once that's done so my NPC is loaded. You can see it right here. Double click that. I'm going to go into my beats folder, whatever folder that you have. That's fine. And this is the beat folder that I made right here. And I can drag and drop that into my NPC. Now, I already have the folder on my NPC, so I don't need to do it. So I'm just going to stop that right there. So this is where the fun starts. Now, I could have just sampled Logic directly into the MPC if I had the proper cables, which I do, but I don't think that's necessary for this particular application. Uh, all my sounds are already mixed into Logic with the effects on them, so it's easier for me to export all the tracks from Logic than hop on the MPC and do everything else on there. Um, after that, I basically just load and assign all the sounds from the folder on the NPC to the pads, uh, just basically recreate the beat into the NPC. Um, and after I recreate the beat, I can copy all the sequences and mute out certain tracks to arrange the intro, verse, and hook. I'm just going to play you an example of uh, the, the timing of the drums or whatever. So this is the beat in Logic Pro right here. It's been a long time. Y'all hear that, how that 
how that kick is dragging. Yeah, y'all hear how that kick is dragging. I don't like it. It's like doo doo, doo doo. So basically, I just got on the NPC and recreated the whole beat. I put everything on the pads. Put everything on the pads and I recreated the beat or whatever. I uh, tap mode and song mode and range my beat in the, in the NPC. Already done so. So as you can see, I got my intro, the first half of my verse, then the second half of my verse, and then the hook. And finally, I go to convert, mute tracks ignored, and then do it and that put my song on its own sequence track right here from there I could either go to mode and record and then set the input to main out and then the time to you know about four minutes depending on how much sample you time you got in your NPC and then hit record as soon as I hit play start it's automatically gonna detect that I played the beat and then I could just make a two track recording mix down of my beat in the NPC directly into the NPC. Or I can just basically uh, track it out one by one individually into Logic Pro. So this is what it sounds like after I redid it in the NPC. So you get the idea. But like I said, from there I could either go into mode record and change my input to main out, you know, select the time long enough to do the song and just do the two track recording. Or I can just like hook it up to uh, Logic and track the beats down individually into Logic. So just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you won't miss that next video. All right, peace.